Yo, welcome back guys, and today's video is the part 2 of how to make a grab system, but this is not the part 2, so maybe this is the new part 1 of grab system, because this is, um, this is, we're going to tackle, um, the position of the animation, so you know that, so as you see here, like, um, on the, uh, unlike the last video of grab system, without position, so as you see here, I have animation. I have an animation with um, changing position animation. So as you see here, the animation will start right here and will end it up right there. As you see, but how did you do that? Because when you script, when you play the script, the animation will, if the animation end, your character will be teleported where it start, right? So this maybe this is the problem that you encounter so and like as me i just got i encountered that and i find a i found a solution on that so this is a module script and plugins smart animation so on the forum so yeah so this is not my original so i just credit to the to that guy that who posts on how to make that so I just make a video about that that I'm going to teach you. So as you see here, now let's save the rig. The, when you s export or save the rig, as you can see here in save anim, as you can see here we have a, I don't know what it's called, but as you can see here the skill 2 and the key, the key frame. Now as you can see here, look, it's, it's, so yeah, that's what we need, so yeah. So the next one will be let me let me grab the module script first so i can so i don't forget so let right as you see here right there the smart animation example so yeah this is the smart anim by the way the link of this module script and the plugins will be in the description and some of script uh, and some of the script so yeah so you don't have to end the article of on dev forum will be right there so don't worry so you can check on the dev forum on how this works so yeah i just recently made i just you know i just learned on that recently so yeah and that's why i'm kind of confused on that so i'm just reading this so this is the module script that we need this, this is the module script the top the script on top of that is just an example so yeah that's what we need so the next one will be the plugin so as you can see here in the toolbox i just into installed the smart animations plugin so i didn't read the i didn't read the owner of that but credit to the owner so this this is the this is best this is the best plugins for that anim smart animation plugins so as you can see here <coughs> Let's let no. Uh, it didn't load the so let's 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 just grab the dummy so and put it into the new workspace. I make it into the new works the new place because the another one is like the spool of script. So as I see here, the animation here is moving, right? The animation, the big team animation as well. It will move. So the plugin will change this all as you see here <clears throat> excuse me now there's a key the skill to right this is skill to and the convert and con the smart animation will convert it you see here it's called key frame but now it's called c frame with the with the c frame coordinates value so this is here i don't know why i don't know so yeah so let's just so you see here it moved so in the big team it then let's reload animation it didn't move it didn't move you see here let's change let's test the big team here so you can see here and let's reload the animation there you go now it didn't move the animation didn't move so don't worry this is where the this is where the what you call that um, module script works. That's 
the this we're going to use the module script <clears throat> so maybe it's kind of confused but we're when when we go to the scripting maybe you you will get what i'm going to say, what i'm saying so yeah let's just just watch the, the tutorial so don't skip the tutorial because this is something crucial that you need to do and you have to learn it so don't skip the this tutorial because this is so you see here now i have a script on inside of my local local script so i just paste it so yeah we have a uis and remote service remote i mean remote um replicated storage and we have a remote event inside of the folder and we have a cooldown and debounce so the uis input event so if this that if we're not typing so this, this will load so the key code will be the two the number two on the top so up and the debon if the debon is false then call the and then fire the fire the what you call that um remote event so then print from local script so inside of the service script service inside of the service script service put a script inside it inside of it and you can name the script or not so it's up to you you can name it whatever what you want i just i just name it in scale too so it's up to you guys it's up to you. then this is the this the module script put it inside of inside of the script you can put it inside of service script service but i just put it in inside of the script so you can do whatever what you want here you can put it inside of anything so service script server script like you can it's up to you then require require the module by using local smart anim then require then find that find the module script so let's copy this the replicated storage then remote then skill to so this is just the variable so you know that you already know that so if you didn't watch the last grab system so make sure to watch this because i explain that so yeah even this is the new part one so it will help you as well on the part one the original part one so yeah but i'm still going to make it part two yeah so inside of the script add a add a folder and name it whatever what you want then inside of the folder add a animation to animation and name it in main and victim you can name it whatever what you want then i'm going to insert a hit box so i just get the last hit box on combat system tutorial so yeah and put in inside of the folder i, I name it holder okay so yeah so what i'm going to do next inside of the script what we're going to do is um, we're going to do here this the after the firing server then we're going to make a variable for our character humanoid and humanoid red part then make a variable for debounce this debounce will for is for the touch event so if the hit bug touch so this this is the debounce for it then if statement if there's a humanoid and our character is still alive because we will check the our health if it didn't it um it not zero if it's not zero okay it means our character is still alive then inside of the if statement we need this so i make a variable for the folder and clone the hitbox and fill in it into the workspace then c frame um um as well on on human edge part and move it a little bit then weld it so when we turn around our character it will turn around the hitbox as well so then the hitbox that touch so if hitbox touch something and it has humanoid so we make a variable for that if human if there's a enemy humanoid red part and enemy humanoid then debounce we're going to if debounce is equal to false debounce equals to true wait one or you can wait anything as long it's up to you then debounce equals to false so what's next so we're going to this so after it hit something that has humanoid and it's are not humanoid 
so it will destroy the hitbox immediately then this script this this line of code will be so since here if the enemy um yeah it will set the our character position the victim and our character five set away and facing to each other so yeah that's it this line is we're going will set our character facing to the enemy and this line will enemy will position five side away and this line will be will be position will be face the, the enemy to us to our character then the next one will be this so yeah so i'm just a make i just make um variable for the animation so hold local main equals to holder wait for child main and local victim equals to holder wait for child victim so yeah that's it and then and then the next one this is this where so wait let wait i didn't save the animation yet right so yeah let's just save it i saved the animation so there, someone asked me how did i how did i save my animation so maybe he wonder i just i i didn't save it in the in just one file so i save it in a different file so as you see here skill to main so this animation will be for our character for the main character only this is the victim this is a separated separate animation but we're going to play it um um sync it will going to play it um um what you call that so at the same time we're going to, so that's why that's how we going to sync the animation so i'm not so yeah i i i save it in separate files in a separate animation that's why we have the animation main and the victim so let's get the id of skill main um skill to main then yeah copy this and put inside here and paste there you go then victim then copy the id then paste it <coughs> excuse me then now we have the animation so now we're not going to play it in, in the way that we know no we're, this is where the module script use so as you see here in this animation this is the example so we already have the variable for requiring the module script and this this line code will teach you how you can just let's copy this one then you go then yeah then change the name to the, to the name the bar to our uh, variable then yeah, there you go i just i <laughs> skip the tutorial so local main then this is the i don't know what it is smart animation i didn't just touch it then for our variable smart animation then colon great okay this is the animation this is our variable as you see here now this is we're going to colon create then are you wanted where and then the animation this may this will be and this is our type and the gravity so i'm not going to change this for now maybe yeah i'm going to change it later but now no and then, then now this task that wait then can then play the animation so this this is different because we play the animation that created by the created by the module script yeah then let's let's see here just just watch the anim the tutorial here and change this the humanoid this is the humanoid that work where they going to play the animation and the anime the second parameter will go into what animation they're going to play okay so see here now it's if i click number two there you go now it so now it move our character so now the uh, changing position of our character is now 
solved but we're not done yet because we're going to sync the animation so yeah this is the the p6 that's what if if this is a p6 so if there's a wall the animation will stop will stop us that's why so now i'm going to change it to beach wall and see here i changed the pick into the beach wall so yeah the error here the let's this is yeah yes so now there's no error in output so now let's test this one there you go so now it picks the positioning but it didn't sync yet so let's play along to the script so this is my first time to use the module that module script that's why i'm kind of confused to use that so i'm just figuring out on how we can make this possible so yeah and maybe let's put this uh, let's do this line then copy this one then paste it inside of the spawn function there you go if if, if we play that it might be work or it might be not let's play this so it didn't work but why is it fast because i changed it up come so since here it's one so this number will be there will determine the determine <laughs> how fast your animation will be so if it's one it will play in one seconds if 0 0.5 it will play on that line. you know it, it, i don't know how to explain that i'm gonna do this so let's delete let's copy the spawn function and here delete the main so yeah so in, so each of them have a spawn function it might be work maybe yeah it work it will work it will work so yeah since so here each code has a spawn function yeah it, yeah it's actually work so as you see here just play along the speed because the speed on here it's kind of not sync you know it's good so as you see here it's sync the animation is sync, sync and as you see here yeah that's it we solved the problem and yeah you see here and the positioning is not a problem because we solve it and the sync animation yeah that's it that's how you make a grab system that will change your position <clears throat> so yeah that's it so check the description because on the the link on the description oh yeah by the way the red line here is from the it's from the module script so that's why don't mind it because it's work so yeah thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe thank you for 400 subscriber yeah i really appreciate that so yeah thank you for watching guys and i appreciate your help thank you for watching